Hello, YouTubes. My name is Chris Horney, and I teach guitar at the Van Tile Music Academy in Huntington Beach, California. And we're doing Time Petty Month, and I just finished playing a fingerstyle arrangement that I did of um, I Won't Back Down. And this is a lesson video, but I'm not going to be teaching you that because that would just be kind of bananas. There's a lot going on in that. Um, so instead, we're going to take a look at the verse section today. Um, which is way easier. <laughs> um, now the left hand comes first, unfortunately. This is the right hand technique I want to emphasize, which is called palm muting. It's really cool, one of my favorites. But uh, left hand comes first because uh, you don't want to have a car that can go 100 miles per hour. This is the gas, and this is the steering wheel. Unfortunately, the steering wheel comes first because you want to go 100 miles per hour into somebody. Um, so, you gotta do left hand first. So let me teach you the moves real fast here. We're gonna do what's called a power chord. Uh, to do a power chord, take your first finger. This starts on the seventh fret of the A string. And then keep that down as you take your third finger and you're gonna put it on the ninth fret of the D string. All right. This is called a power chord. And in general, you only wanna hit the strings that your fingers are on. Okay. Otherwise, for anybody who's more of a beginner, you'll get stuck with this. Not the greatest. Just try to only hit the strings that your fingers are on. Okay, um, let's see here. Work with me, buddy. All right, so power chord on seven. First fingers on seventh fret A string. Third fingers on the ninth fret D string. And then we're gonna take that move, this chord, two frets down to your left. Okay, so now we got, all right, the last chord in the verse, well, in this section at least, do the same shape, two frets down, but also one string towards this guy. Okay. So I'm going to talk which frets your first finger is on. 7th fret A string. 5th fret A string. 3rd fret E string. Okay. We're going to add 8th notes to that. So we got the counting is going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. I go to that third fret on the E string on the and of four. So we got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again one and two three and four and one and two three and four and the third time do the same thing one and two and three and four and but you don't do the and of four right on beat one you go to C or a third fret A string and you do a full measure of eighth notes. One and two and three and four and that part again, just so you can see it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then back to the first one you did. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one last time all those parts together so you can see the form. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. Third time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and back to the first way you did it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. <sighs> Gotta breathe. Um now the part that I was actually excited about the teaching today, which is your right hand. Got the left hand in order here. Your right hand is going to use a technique called palm muting. All right. So with palm muting, you're going to take a gentle karate chop. Don't smack your guitar super hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you're going to take this section right here of your hand, of your right hand, and you're going to put it towards what's called the bridge, in case you didn't know. So you want to get your right hand, in my opinion, as close to the bridge as possible while still palm muting. You get kind of more of a muffled, chunkier sound this way. Big difference, as it turns out. We got not palm mute with palm mute. Okay. Now, to give you an idea, once you get situated here, I actually really encourage you to ex experiment and kind of hear for yourself the differences. So this is kind of a sweet spot. If you go back any further, no palm muting. 
So right about here is what I want for this guitar. So then all you gotta do is do the exact same thing that we just did a minute ago, but with palm getting on everything, which is gonna go like, um, today yeah mm -hmm. so be sure to go back and watch it again if any of that was confusing it's a video so don't forget you can go back in time all right and um hopefully you uh probably to make sense a little more sense now and i'll see you guys later